Welcome to York Road, the home ground of Maynard United for this afternoon's National League clash between the home side and Dorking Wanderers. My name is Keith Higgins, I'll be your commentator for today's game, joined by Michael Shapiro. Welcome Michael, good afternoon. Afternoon Keith. Great to see you again. Let's just have a, well before we have a look at the uh, sides and the uh, changes for today and the form of the two sides, just want to uh, mention uh, the uh, Maidenhead Bridge Rotary Club. They are here today, they've got a team of people and they're, uh, the work that they're doing is they're trying to eliminate polio in the world. Even though that disease has almost been eradicated, it's still evident in some countries, particularly Pakistan and Afghanistan. Hopefully today's collection that the team are making will help polio join smallpox as a totally eradicated disease. Big thanks to Eddie and his team from the Maidenhead Bridge Rotary Club, hoping to get the support of the fans and raise money for that collection today. Well done to them. OK, let's have a look at the uh, two sides. Let's start with the away side. Dorking are making four changes from the starting lineup that lost 2-1 away to Altrincham on Tuesday night. In come Billy Joe Taylor, Tony Craig, Jimmy Mewitt and Luke Moore into the starting lineup. Out go Joe Cook, Matt Briggs, Josh Taylor and Alfie Rutherford. Rutherford will be on the bench for today. For Maidenhead, they make three changes from the uh, team that uh, the starting lineup that were well beaten by OC Fard last Saturday by four goals to one. In comes Zico Azare for Remy Clarima, who got injured. Alan Massey, first start since the Ebbsfleet game in uh, January, comes in for Will de Havilland. And Nathan Nathaniel George, who has started the last three games, comes in for Charlie Adams. Corner's coming in now. Player to take it. Deep. <coughs> Man, that was a great chance there. Headed over the bar as he came across from the corner. Fuller will pick up the ball. Sends in the early cross. And that was a great chance and he should be there. Now he's cleared off the line. It was Pryor who had the head. It was scooped away by Craig Ross. And cleared off the line by Massey. There's bound to be a bit of nerves today, Keith, I think, with uh, the importance of this one. Well, still got a little way to go in the season. Abrahams will get on the loose ball. Into the penalty area. Just blocked by the keeper who gets to the rebound and... Uh, I think we need to give credit to Pybus there who came across. But Daniel Jules gets to the byline but can't get there. Heads it on the ball. Smith. Daniel Jules had a good start coming back into the side today. Calmly finds Massey still on the ball. Danger getting crowded out but still on the ball Nathaniel Jules. Beckwith, low cross, and he's found the net! Sam Beckwith! Ten minutes gone and Sam Beckwith finds himself in the penalty area with a bit of space. Turned, I think he mishit the shot slightly, but the ball bubbled past mail into the park. Well, not quite the corner, just inside the post in the side netting. Let's hope this one is not a consolation. And Abrahams closes down Pipers very quickly. That's what the fans want to see, and Smith will pick up the loose ball. Little turn, needs some help. Sorry, perhaps not quite realising what was happening. Mitchell Lawson trying to help. Ball back with Smith. Smith jinks his way into the penalty area. Tries the left foot shot, nearly beats Mail at the near post. Almost a nice touch for Ferdinand there by Abrahams, but cleared by Dorking. Nice flick though by Pryor, and Carter will pick the loose ball up. Carter on the edge of the penalty area, cutting inside, he got some room, and he scored. Beat Ross at the near post, and keepers never like to, to be seen to be doing that, but 13 minutes gone, and a very quick response there by Dorking. Carter with the goal. Seemed to have a bit too much room when he came into the penalty area, he was able to cut back inside, and the defence were a little bit slow in picking it up. Club captain, uh, not club captain, captain for the game today. <coughs> but Reece Smith will pick up the loose ball and Smith will break forward. Smith on to the penalty, he tries to shot, here's the post and he's going in! Smith with a beautiful solo goal, picking up the loose ball in midfield, ran 20 yards, edge of the penalty area. His shot beat Mail to his right hand side, struck the inside of the post, ran along the line, but fortunately for Maidenhead, 
across the line into the side netting. Anyway, free kick for Dorking. Got Blair and Taylor over the ball. Taylor sends over the left footed cross. That's a good one. Oh, and that was another chance there for Dorking. Judgment. Pettison. Ferdinand getting each other's way, but uh, Ferdinand takes responsibility and finds Mitchell Lawson. Chance to attack there. He does well, Mitchell Lawson. Good attack. Breaking forward into the penalty area. Got to get the shot in. And he scores! Mitchell Lawson with a fine individual goal. First goal here at York Road for Jaden Mitchell Lawson. Picked the loose ball up and really did attack. Something we know he's capable of, but attacked the Dawkins defence. Thought he'd been forced out wide, but with his presumably slightly weaker left foot, shot beautifully across Harrison Mayo. 42 minutes gone and May Ned two goals in front, May Ned three, Dawkins one. thought about a free kick for Nathaniel George decided to not put the whistle in his mouth and a chance for Nathaniel George to break forward a little bit of space he'll go for the shot but uh, drags it wide is Mitchell Lawson the better option there just to his right hand side Michael perhaps but the way the game's been going and they've been quite successful with their long shots and I think uh, Nathaniel George thought it was his turn to sort of get in, in on the act and, um, it's nice clearance by the Millwall Legend, ex Millwall legend. Reece Smith will pick the loose ball up. Will he feed Mitchell Lawson? Now he'll stop and turn. Trying to find the space, and that wasn't a bad shot, and uh, blocked by a combination there of Moore and Pybus. Hopefully, Royal Court's going to be a very exciting new year for all of it. Anyway, goals have been here, no doubt about it. And the loose ball, and Abrahams will pick it up. Smith. And they're not quite incisive enough. Great. No, not a great curler by Pettit. It looked good from here, but it was actually straight down her male throat. But uh, not for the first time, Dorking caught in possession deep inside their own half. Trying to make sure Taylor doesn't get the crossing, but he does. Goes a long way through and uh, is arriving late and he's gone over the bar there. Nice ball headed back down. Chance for Fryer. That was Rutherford with a nice cushion header. More. Taylor again. Time to do the cross. Dangerous. And it's over the bar. Challenge by Pettit to get the ball away from Fryer and Smith will run away from Pybus. Run away from his fellow England squad player. Gets the cross in. Just held by Mayo. Mitchell Lawson Abrahams. Didn't really put the keeper under pressure, although he did hold it and keep hold of the ball. Didn't let it squirm away. Quick break go by Dorking. Blair. Gets the low cross in. Let's get the ball back, Luke Moore. Thought he was going to have a shot there. Gets the ball to Mewitt. Mewitt tries to get the cross in. And it's there! It's a headed goal that's brought them back into the game. Dorkin have got the first goal in the second half. And it was Mewitt who got to the byline, pulled the ball back. Just waiting for the goal scorer to turn round so I can identify him. Is it Fry who's got the goal? Oh, that came through. Oh, a save there by Mail from Pettit. And he staves the ball from going out of play. That was a scramble in the six yard box. But still got six minutes left plus added time. Smith picks up the loose ball from the clearance by Taylor. Finds Barrett. Pettit. Back to Barrett. 
good ball through to Pettit. Pettit with a cross and flicked away by Craig before Abrahams could get onto it. As Charlie Adams comes on for Reece Smith, who's uh, broken his goal drought here today at York Road and maintains his position as the leading goal scorer at Maidenhead. Still time. Oh, Abrahams has intercepted the ball. Can he run forward? He can. Abrahams. He's got Picked up the loose ball as Craig tried to find Franken. So the corners that we don't normally associate with strikers here at the Maidenhead, but ran onto that ball, checked inside with his left foot, curled it beautifully past Harrison Mayo. First goal for Tristan Abrahams. Maidenhead four, Dorking Wanderers two. Ball back again. Couple of Maidenhead players, Massey and Ferdinand getting in each other's way as Blair checks, gets the cross in. Locko with a very important header. Taylor. Chips the ball forward. And at the far post, it was Rutherford. George, in added time, there will be a little bit of a, a break. Abraham's on the ball. And the referee's blown his final whistle. He has blown the final whistle. It was a nervy game, but Maynard had run out winners. Maynard United 4, Dorking Wanderers 2.